Superfly. Success of the new motion picture Superfly has brought Ron O'Neill to sudden nationwide attention. Here he talks about how they made the film in which he takes the title role. Above all, I think we wanted to make a, a film that was realistic in content, realistic in nature. Uh, we wanted to make a film about a certain uh, uh, strata of the, of the black community, uh, which is the black hustler. Really sort of a unique kind of uh, person. A black man becomes a hustler is because he's forced into it or led into it by a uh, socioeconomic force. Because being a hustler is not a fun thing. And we show this rather clearly in the movie. If I don't argue with me, man, I'm trying to give you a chance. Oh, you don't get me my money to Move a muscle and I'll kill you. Kill me, Ridden. Kill me like you kill Scatter and you are one dead pig. This whole number is something I thought I wanted ever since I was a kid. My hog, my vines, that wine you're drinking, and a woman like you. Don't you feel that way anymore? I don't know. Eight track stereo, color TV in every room, and can snort a half a piece of dope every day. That's the American dream. Superfly is about people who don't believe in the American dream at all, have no reason to. Priest, indeed, is a, a great deal more American than the American dream. We didn't make a film about the rise and great success of a hustler. We made a film about a guy who has all the creature comforts, all the material possessions that any black uh, person can see, uh, you know, in real life on the street. Uh, we made a film about a guy who has all of this and whose whole action throughout the film is to indeed get out of the life, to get out of the business, to try to better his condition. It's having a choice, being able to decide what it is I want. I'm just to be forced into a thing because that's the way it is. Gonna buy me some time, baby. And oh, will that make you happy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just know I can't be happy the way it is now. I never was. You know, you got this fantasy in your head about getting out of the life and setting that other world on its ear. What are you gonna do except hustle? He's not gonna go down Madison Avenue and start an ad agency, I can tell you that. He's, uh, he's not become, going to become a Jesuit priest. Uh, that's, all these things are kind of unrealistic. Um, it's not really the issue, you know. The issue is how he got to be where we find him. My gut response to him would be respect for survival. You know, I wouldn't particularly uh, treasure his company, but I would respect his intelligence, his uh, courage, if you will. I don't think I'd be a running buddy of his. Uh, he's into his thing and I'm into mine. There's something dangerous about Priest as an idea. To tell the truth is a dangerous thing. You upset an awful lot of people. The man has blame, but the responsibility for his actions does not belong within the black community. It belongs outside of the black community. It makes no difference what color they are. We're talking about the thousands and thousands of black hustlers there are. We're talking about uh, crooked police. We're talking about moral decadence. We're talking about like it is in the street. I think it's up for grabs what is heroic to the black community. What Superfly does, I think it provides a measure of hope in some lives that, believe me, do not get any spiritual enlightenment from Doris Day show or, you know, the Julia show. Black people that I've come in contact with, they take a personal pride in my role in the film. Uh, they feel, there seems to be a general feeling that they have advanced somehow. My success is indeed a success for my people. I've been thinking, you know, what all this means to come from my one-room apartment on the west side in New York uh, to Hollywood and the whole thing. You know, apparently everything I've been aiming for for 15 years as an actor. And I always thought somehow it would be uh, like fun and games. And I find instead uh, 
curious sense of responsibility. Fly is an expression which means, um, well, it's associated usually with stylish, expensive thing. It can be a coat, a shirt, a woman, a car, basketball players. You know, the average black person, you know, will understand an expression like fly, even if he never heard it before. He knows what it means. You know, I don't know why. ESP, you priest is super fly. There's not a a little facetiousness and sarcasm in the title. Super fly, you know. If it's so super fly, what's he want to get out for? As Curtis says, super fly. Mm -mm -mm. You're going to make your fortune by and by, but if you lose, don't ask no questions why. The only game you know is do 